Hey guys, King Beast Guy here. I just wanted to make a video on One Piece Chapter 923. Now, before I get into this video, I want to say that I know I haven't been uploading any videos. I keep repeating myself, but it, it's the truth. I'm probably going to upload a multiple videos today because I just feel so bad for not uploading videos. Like, I love uploading videos. It's what I do. And I feel bad when I don't do that and just leave you, all you guys hanging. So without further ado, let's just get this chapter obviously starts off where we've been left off. Now Luffy. Luffy elephant gun Kaido into the ground. That's no surprise there. Kaido goes through Okabori town. People are screaming and they're running. It's like, oh no, Kaido got hit. We need to get out of here. He punched God. Yeah, so they refer Kaido as God. I don't, but Kaido's pretty strong. If they're referring to that. But anyway, after that, Luffy blows into his other arm, he gets two fists, and he elephant gun elephant gauntlet Kaido to the ground. Kaido's shifting back to his, like, human form while Luffy's doing that. You know, Ka Kaido's just taking hits after hits, and Luffy, Luffy wasted no time on this guy. He wanted to take him out now, like he said to Law. So he went year fourth in his Kong gun, Oregon gun. And after all of that, I won't believe, Kaido just gets right up. Did nothing to him whatsoever. Just made him... All Luffy's actions just made him sober. Taito takes Kabuto and just... Divine Thunders. Whacks Luffy on the top of the head. And puts him out of gear for it. Luffy's on the ground unconscious and bleeding. And that is the end of the chapter. You know, as I'm doing these videos, they keep getting shorter and shorter. Because I'm reading the manga then and just giving like a brief... Like description of what happened in the chapter. Now, like, this isn't going to be the end of the video, because I want to get into more depth and detail. Like, from my chapter reviews, I want to start getting what my theories are going to be like for the next chapter. Alright, so what I feel like is going to happen in the next chapter, one, we're either going to cut back to Rebbe, which I've been saying for a while, we're eventually going to do it, that's why I keep saying it. Because while Reverie's going on, Wano's also going on. Two, people have been saying, um, Luffy's going to go into pr Kaido's prison with Kid. They're going to have a kid and Luffy reunion. I don't think that's true. I feel like now, I've also heard that Shu Demaru from Tech, um, Teching when Wan Shu Demaru might save him. Well, I like that too. But what I really think was going to happen is Luffy either partially dodged that. He's not completely unconscious. Because remember, Oda has a thing or two for tricking us. You know, he makes us think one thing, but the other thing happens. <clears throat> so he probably either saw him getting hit by Divine Thunder, then going out of gear fourth. And it hasn't happened. So then at, when Kaido charges up the attack, Luffy dodges it. That's what I feel like is going to happen. So no, like Luffy on the blood, on the ground unconscious, that didn't happen. Because Luffy used Future Sight. Remember, Luffy probably knows Future Sight now from this Katakuri fight. The observation hockey training is going to come into play in this battle. So P Luffy probably Luffy probably knows future sight. And he probably saw himself getting knocked out and being unconscious. <clears throat> That's what I feel like. And like, the law, like, I don't know what law is going to do. I mean, like, I feel like Shu and Mara might team up with Luffy eventually because... Shu tomorrow like has like respect for people who just straight up attack Kaido. He said it in a couple chapters back. <clears throat> like of course Law being terrified because like Luffy just keeps doing these stupid attacks. I mean like I understand like Luffy really isn't underestimating Kaido. I mean he's using his strongest attack. He used gear third and fourth on Kaido. Like he didn't even use like gear second on Kaido. Like he, Luffy's not underestimating Kaido at all. He's like I gotta take this guy out now by using my one of my all my strongest attacks. Now, granted, I'm wondering why he didn't do, like, a King Kong gun, which I feel like he should have done from the get. You know, power up, boom, King Kong gun, Kaido straight down in the freaking head. I don't know why he just didn't do that from the beginning. Like, just end it right there and there, which I hardly doubt a King Kong gun would, like, defeat Kaido, but would somewhat kind of injure him. Not, not even, like, do, sh like, not, like, do a major, like, save Kaido's HP's at 100. Luffy does a King Kong gun, his HP might go down to 90. It'll do something to him. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anything else I want to talk about? Um. This chapter was really great, you know. Like, the lat Like, One Piece has been really stepping up his game since. 
entering the Wano arc, and we're like, we're still not even 20 chapters in, and we've already gotten a first class between Luffy and Kaido, which ended shortly. I wish it kind of lasted a little bit longer. I mean, who knows? I mean, Oda might pull up. All Luffy predicted that, and Luffy actually dodged it. Or all Luffy actually partially dodged it, and gets back up. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> Remember, Kabuto from the anime. Whenever the two guys were flipping, we kind of flipped the two guys' papers, holding, revealing law. I'm sorry my camera keeps doing that. It's really annoying. So after he did that, like, Kaido used Kabuto and spam out of his um, mansion or an um, Onagashima and send those two guys flying across the sea. So, like, Kabuto is really strong, too. Like, like at that moment, I don't think Kaido underestimated Luffy either. Because remember, he used actually used an attack against Luffy. Like, Kaido just, just used Kabuto against those two guys. Kaido actually had to use an attack against Luffy. Now, like, I keep thinking in my head that Maybe Kaido would eventually get respect for Luffy, like, <clears throat> I don't know why, it's just like, it's just Luffy's will, maybe, he, will Luffy just keeps getting, get, getting back up, knowing he can't win, and keeps fighting him, which I highly doubt it's not gonna happen, but it might happen, I mean, it's Oda, like, anything can happen, you gotta remember Ichiro Oda, like, he's the creator of One Piece, you just gotta remember him, so yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what I thought happened to the Straw Hats, I mean, like, I don't know, I mean, like, maybe they got out of that somehow. I don't know, but things ain't looking too good. Now, if I was Law, I'd save Luffy, but I'd whack him on his right side of the head for doing that. I mean, Luffy kind of saved the Law from Dress Rosa. Remember when he was carrying him like a surfboard running through, running, running away from Pika? I mean, like, I mean, like, I don't think Law is at the point where he doesn't view Luffy as a, like, he doesn't view Luffy as, like, an enemy more. He views him as a friend because Luffy defeated, um, Doflamingo for him. So I don't think, no matter what Luffy does, Law will still be with him because, just because he beat Doflamingo <clears throat> from Just Rosa. And I want to know where Zoro is. Like, where, what happened to Zoro? Like, did Zoro see this somehow? And, like, Zoro gets ultra pissed and he tries to slice Kaido in the chest. Zoro has faith in Cap. Zoro will never lose faith in Luffy. Zoro will understand why Luffy lost, if he does. Anything else I left out in this chapter? No, that's pretty much it. Just a little clash between Luffy and Kaido. Kaido used Divine Thunder and knocked out Luffy. That is all if you I gotta get that fixed. Okay, so if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this and hit that bell to be notified. You gotta hit that bell because if you don't hit that bell you won't be notified. King Beast kinda of signing out.